right, we're going to try something different this time here. Instead of talking to one of them riders that just say the same thing all the time, we're going to talk to a manager, Andre Lauren of the Suzuki OTSF team. Buddy, obviously this year uh, you're doing pretty darn good leading the MX1 points with Tyler. Things are going good for your team. Yeah, working hard. Uh, the crew and the team worked at it all winter. It's really paying off now when we get started in November and the people spend the, the winter down in Georgia. So we're a few steps ahead than where we normally are, but definitely working on it. Um, talk to the people out there. I mean, obviously, what kind of man hours and stuff go in to put something like this together? Because this isn't really easy. People think it just comes to be easy to, to build a team like this. You've been doing it for a long time. What's it take to really build something like this? Well, you know, I, I used to be in the freight business, Colby. <laughs> Uh, you know, I devote all my time to this thing. Yeah, I mean, between the, the moto and the other programs that we run, it takes a lot of time. So my 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, is consistently building on, on programs for the following year. Now, this year, one of the coolest things ever, uh, you've got two brothers on the same team. That's probably one of the first times maybe that's ever happened. But uh, And they're sitting first and second round in their respective classes. That's going to be pretty cool, being a guy that's picked those guys, give that family a chance, and they've obviously delivered. Yeah, we're extremely happy to have two Canadian brothers working their way up the ladder the way they are. I mean, it's uh, not the way I, I obviously brought the program and planned it, but it, it, it ended up this way, and we're grateful for it. Their families worked so hard to build them up to that point, and hopefully our tools and commitment can take them to the next level. Uh, let's talk about Mitch. Obviously, he hasn't quite lived up to uh, every, what everybody thought after last year's winning at, winning at Mord and stuff like that. How's he feeling, you know, and how do you keep him motivated? Obviously, because the kid's got talent, and he just hasn't maybe found it yet this year, but how do you keep him motivated to make sure he can still get on the podium? Because he belongs there. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You know, a lot of averages, right, Goldie? It's uh, so difficult to see these athletes have an up day, down day, and what we're doing now is, is I try to motivate them. I mean, I don't, I'm not a, a common dog type of guy that gets on his kids and really tries to beat on them. We sit there and we go through their afternoon and, and say what uh, see what happened and, and try to review where they messed up and you know they end up telling me I don't need to tell them they usually end know where they, they, they failed and they know where they got to pick it up so um, the confidence behind the whole group we all are feel rewarded when a kid does well and, and they're feeling it either way so but he's got some work to do for sure now you originally started this idea with snowcross and now it seems you're in both you're all over the place buddy you must be very stressed <laughs> it's actually relaxing. I enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It, it, yeah, what started off as a hobby years ago in the snow business with Ian Hayden. Um, I have to mention him because he's the one that driven us to, to get into racing. The snow business, and then we accelerated into the motocross, which now that doubled the season. Now we're into Pro ATV and the AMA, which I have another uh, one of our members at the company that manages that. And then snowcross all winter, still both sides of the pond on the American and the Canadian side. Uh, one being the big one is uh, the Yamaha Development Four Stroke Program. Now, I gotta ask you, Nick. Jeremy's mechanic there. The guy never smiles. How can we get him to smile to make it? Because I know he's having fun and he loves his job. How can I get him to smile? You know, I mean, we have to have someone run by topless. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could do that, but I don't know if that's going to help or not. <laughs> you know what? If Italy wins their soccer championship, we'll get him smiling for sure. But, you know, I keep gooning on him. I think the Dutch are going to beat him. But, you know what? There's a smile in there all the time. And, and uh, he doesn't show it off the same way, but they're very devoted, but they do have fun. We just don't see it. Who's the biggest clown on your tent? Who's the guy that every time you come in, you're like, man, I laugh at that guy every weekend? <laughs> we have to point at Sims for that, yeah. for sure. He's always laughing. He's the guy? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Cool. Well, hey, folks. Andre Lauren, one of the best managers in the business right now. Go to uh, OTSF.com to check out his stuff. And uh, also go to CMRCRacing.com to check us out because we're going to be doing this all the time. Having fun at the Montreal Energy Nationals.